Alrighty guys, so once again we're actually back in YouTube Simulator Z. Do you want a milkshake? Sure. Ooh, a Grimace Shake. And that's pretty much the update. There is a new Grimace Shake. Apparently, if you feed it to your editors, it makes them go insanely fast, like three times faster. So that's pretty cool. Definitely gonna have to check that out. But now that we have the Grimace Shake, let's actually come to our studio. And wait a second, I actually have to record a video first. I forgot about that. Wait, let's come get our, where's our editor at? Wait, I think our editor is already down. Wait, where in the world is my editor? Oh, wait a second. I think my editor is like all the way in the back of my studio. Give me a second. I gotta run all the way over there all right yeah so there's my editor let's take him up and let's come back all right let's put this dude down right there and now i need a computer put that there let's connect these things and uh how do we feed our editor our grimace shake how exactly does that work do we have to like actually click use feed this to your editor to make him insane all right uh we just feed him there all right we fed him he's drinking it let's see what happens what he's turning purple uh is he good is that kind of free oh um okay he's dead and it only lasts 30 minutes so i probably shouldn't have used it right there but yeah our editor is uh something's wrong with him real quick let's actually come over here let's actually record a video um what currency do i use i guess we can just use a normal currency for now let's come back and let's put our editor up let's get this let's deposit all this wait how do you deposit again it's been so long since i actually used the editor i literally forgot how this works all right now that we have some storage let's come back and let's wait yeah editor and then let's deposit all this all right deposit and auto upload wait no how do we oh yeah place our editor in the chair duh and now he's editing right how do you see how fast it's going though oh wow okay that's way faster look how fast it's going now pretty cool look how many thumbnails it's actually giving me too that's crazy so honestly i recommend using this mainly to get you know thumbnails because thumbnails are pretty annoying again this game i don't see the need to actually use this because you could just edit normally with like an auto clicker also i don't know why my animation like my run animation changed roblox has been really really weird or glitchy with me lately but yeah apparently if you actually beat the trick shot challenge you are actually able to get more editors so let's come back over here to the trick shot challenge let's play this and let's actually throw a ball backwards because you actually get like a really really overpowered ball it's like a black one and the basketball pretty much auto aims to the hoop so that's cool so let's just throw this back and pretty whoa that was terrible i'm right, trying one more time there we go okay i'm just doing really bad and it still went in all right let's try this one more time and there it goes and it goes so yeah it's pretty easy if you have the black basketball and i wonder how many grimace shakes you actually get from this i'm assuming just one Holy moly, I'm missing like crazy right now. Let me tee up. All right, so now we're on the last one. Pretty easy, and this is a really far one. Is that even gonna go in? Okay, that went way over. So I think for this one, you actually have to put way less power into it, and that looks perfect. There we go. So how many Grimace Shakes do we get from this now? All right, we got money, but where's our Grimace Shake at? Uh, that's really weird. We didn't get any Grimace Shakes. Okay, I wonder if it's like, you have to keep playing. Oh, it says win 10 for a prize. You have to do this 10 times for a Grimace Shake? Holy moly, I definitely think you should reduce it to five because like you know it is easy but again the grimace shake is not that worth it unless it was like you edit faster instead of your editor that would be really really cool if we could edit three times faster but it's just our editor so it's not really worth it but yeah guys i think now let's actually come back to our clan because i have not done anything with our clan we are 24 worldwide and let's actually see how many people want to join our clan oh my goodness holy moly okay so let's just start by um accepting some people first of all if you have like zero subscribers i can't really accept you because you know you have zero subscribers let me actually come over here that way we can actually pull up the badges to see what number i should accept i think if you have more than one try decillion whatever that means i think i'll invite you to the clan or actually maybe even this one so i think i'm gonna sort it out by these two or you know these two and up so yeah i'm sorry to this guy but um goodbye you can always ask for invite again when you guys you know of course get better but for now i just have to do this and this is gonna take a while so i'm gonna try to filter out as many people from the clan as i can and i know some of you guys want to join the clan but you guys don't have enough like coins or money or whatever and if that's the case then make sure you put your username down below and i'll try to see if i can invite you guys even if you're somewhat not at the best floor yet i'll still try to invite you guys so just make sure you guys drop your username down below and yeah i'll come back when i actually finish filtering out this whole clan because this is gonna take a while Alrighty, guys so i've been doing this for a little bit longer and i honestly am just tired i'm gassed out from just accepting and declining people in my clan and out of everyone i've declined i've only accepted two people into the clan which is really really bad and there's still a thousand people left so again please put your username in the comments so i can accept you because i really don't want to go through this it's gonna take me a really long time i just really need the patience to do that and i don't have that and for now i'm actually gonna grind nine more wins in this trick shot challenge that way we could get another grimace shake and we could actually test it out on some things i am actually curious if there's any way you could actually do it to yourself or like any way you could actually do it to your computer like make your computer edit faster who knows indian always likes to add these little like secrets to the game but uh yeah let's just grind this out real quick
Okay, so this is pretty much the last throw for me to actually get the new Grimace Shake. So come on, is that going in? Oh, wow, that was way overshot. I right, try more time. All right, that's going in, guaranteed. Um, all right, this one's definitely going in this time. Come on, there we go. And now we should actually have the new Grimace Shake. So let's come over here to Mr. Beast, and there it is. We got the new Grimace Shake, nice. So now that we actually have this again, I am very curious if there's any way we could actually craft this. Okay, here it is in the crafting thing. So it could be a recipe in the future, maybe, who knows? Because it is actually in your bag instead of items, and items is like plants and stuff. So it could be something you use to craft in the future, maybe, who knows? But is there any way you could actually use it on your computer? Um, I don't know exactly how you would even test that. That. First of all, we need to put our editor back down. And where's our Grimace Shake at? Where in the world is my Grimace Shake at? What in the world? Would it be rewards? How would you even check for your Grimace Shake? I don't even think you can see it in your inventory. So yeah, you pretty much can't place this thing down anywhere in your studio because there's nowhere in this crafting station, which means that, you know, you can't even like place it down or even like make it even better. But imagine a Titanic Grimace Shake. That sounds crazy. But since it isn't bag, let's come over here and I don't want to use it. I want to save that. But how do we make it so it uses on the computer instead of our editor? I honestly don't think it's possible oh my goodness so i almost forgot that there's actually a new area in the game that came out a while ago and i forgot it in my last video but if we actually come oh wait no i forgot you have to actually ride the conveyor belt backwards so i have to come all the way over here and let's ride this thing all the way backwards this is gonna take a long time but apparently you're actually able to get a secret item shop i think it's normal currency like this currency so we'll see what it's about i should be able to afford everything though Okay, now the lights are flickering, so what happens? Ooh, okay, so everything changed. Wait, but it's still the exact same thing, though. But now it's a baseball bat. What in the world? I mean, that's cool, I guess. So let's check out all the cameras we have here. So we have a whistle. We have, what is that, like a juice drink thingy? A soccer ball with a bunch of cameras on it for some reason. A weight. Wait, I want to see what the weight looks like in your hand. Okay, that actually looks pretty cool. You got like a little racket thingy. I forgot what those are called. And you have a bunch of other stuff. Ooh, look at this football helmet, though. Now, this is cool. Now, how in the world do we actually undo this? Because I want to go back to the normal ones to see what the normal ones look like. Or, like, like compare like the stats here let's try to ride this thing backwards to see if we actually go back to the main place with the normal cameras oh cool so you do go back all right interesting and i think they do both give you the same amount of sd storage so that's pretty cool anyways guys i do think this update is pretty cool let me know some updates you guys think this game should have or some new features this game should have i do want to make a video on things i think this game should add so if you guys have any good ideas i'll make sure i shout you guys out i do think you should have it where when you get all the floors unlocked there should be like another like little um i guess you could say world or like universe or whatever like a new planet it, you go to a new planet and there's a bunch of new cameras and you pretty much have to restart but with like a new currency like your subscriber start at zero and your money starts at zero i think that sounds really really cool that way there could actually be two different leaderboards for both worlds like the normal world you have one leaderboard and then the other world you have another leaderboard i think that's a really really good idea but uh yeah if you guys haven't already make sure to like button and subscribe so you never miss a video again i am posting more content on new games so if you guys have any other games or any underrated games you guys would actually like to see me play on the channel definitely let me know and uh yeah peace